those of you uh, who are listening, I'm sure are aware that uh, Bloomberg, and just as Tom had mentioned earlier, he pumped in uh, $20 million to pay off debts of felons so that they can vote. And we actually have a, a felon who owed lots of money that uh, will be paid off. And he's a guest, and I believe his name is Bubba? Is Bubba. Bubba, yeah. So I want to welcome Bubba on. Welcome, Bubba. Hey, thanks for having me on the show today. <laughs> <laughs> so happy to have you with us. So tell us, what do you think about, you know, that your debts are paid off? And tell me about, you know, how that feels for you, that now you'll be a free man and you can vote. I can't tell you how happy I am about this. I was going to apply for some of that Ron James money because he was doing the same thing. <laughs> but then I heard Michael Bloomberg going to put a lot more money into it. And so now I'm going to get the vote. They're going to Bloomberg going to pay all my debts to society. Well, at least the financial part anyways, because I done served my time. <laughs> and now I'm going to get the vote on November 3rd. Is it that That's great? Fantastic. So tell me, if you don't mind letting us know, who are you going to be voting He's for? He's going to vote for for <laughs> Biden, of course. That's why Bloomberg's paying the money. Is that so, Bubba? You going to vote for Biden? Hell no! I'm voting <laughs> for Donald J. Trump. And tell us why you're going to vote for Donald J. Trump. I don't want no socialism. I left that in prison. That's like living in a gulag in a communist country or something. Y'all dress the same, eat the same, wake up the same time. I like me some capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> we have a smart ex felon. Yeah, here. this is amazing. <laughs> Bubba, we love you, Bubba. We're so happy you're Bubba. free and you that you are making America I'm, think again. Yeah, I'm a, you know why. Well, I had a lot of time to think when I was making the post. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Bubba, you 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 did your eight or nine years, whatever it was, and uh you have been rehabilitated. You you served your time. You didn't quite have the money to pay all the money you stole from all those people <laughs> or all the fines and all of that. But this guy from New York, do you know who Michael Bloomberg is? I believe he's that Yankee mayor from New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Does it... I believe he done tried to run for president for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're right. You, you know your benefactor. But, you know, there's a thing in prison. A lot of people put their time in and their body, their physical body is rehabilitated. You're still smoking, I see there, <laughs> Bubba. You're still smoking, they let you smoke in prison? Well, they don't let you, but there's ways. <laughs> uh, you know, your physical body can get rehabilitated and you pay your fines or somebody else pays your fines. You do your time and you're out and you vote. And Michael Bloomberg, that Yankee uh, guy who was the mayor in New York, he, uh, he said, the people I'm paying all this money for, they are predisposed to vote for Biden. But it seems that your brain, you, you, your brain is still okay, right, Bubba? It seems to be working all right. <laughs> your, brain, your brain seems to be rehabilitated. And you're saying, why do I, why do I want to follow Biden and go back in that direction when Donald Trump can? What do you see in, in Donald Trump as a president that makes you drawn to him? Well, for one thing, he's honest, and there ain't been an honest man in Washington D.C. in about a hundred years. <laughs> All right, honesty. We'll put that, that down. Great. Good check. Yeah. He yeah. he talks to you straight you might not like what he says but he's honest about it then you got joe biden you talk about a brain working and not working his brain <laughs> ain't even working he can't even put two sentences together in a row and we supposed to vote him president and and, and you got all them socialists and commies that gonna really be running the administration for him no, thank you. Well, I'm a little shocked. You know, we have uh, 
We have a, a Florida felon right. who um, who is a, a a benefactor has stepped in and uh, given him an opportunity to vote on November third, and he's voting for Donald Trump. I mean, what is going on in uh, oh, in the world God. today? So now let me tell you something. If 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 Biden was to say, or I'm sorry, if Bloomberg was to say you had to vote for Biden to get the money, that there'd certainly be criminal, wouldn't it? That'd be like buying votes. <laughs> that's a quid pro quo. That's, that's, that's a, a good <laughs> question, Bubba. That's a good <laughs> question. Speaking of the quid pro quo, this doesn't come out maybe after y'all started your show. But the the Senate done come out with a report on his son Hunter. He's yeah. dirty. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. might go to the same prison I done went to. <laughs> All right. Uh, breaking news from Bubba. Bubba. Breaking news from Bubba. Uh, we appreciate all of that, Bubba, and um, uh, hang with us. You can take Bubba off off the air. Okay. We're going to talk for a minute, and then we're going to Israel. We're going to go to Israel because we got Damon uh, Rosen on hold. We got a repo- oh, report coming in from, from Damon. We got great guests today. Bubba, thank you very, thank very you, much Bubba. for being with us. Thank okay. you all for having me on. All right, God bless you, <laughs> Bubba. Unbelievable.